Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have tried to become prepared. I worked on a 24 by 30, yep, yeah, by 30 painting the other day. These are the colors I'm going to use on it now. These are the chains I'm going to use, little tiny ball chains. I had some practice recently with making flowers. These are going to go behind me for a moment. And I am going to attempt to find a way to show you what I am doing and still leave myself room to work. I've attempted to clean off most everything. I do have a stretcher bar on the back, so even though the painting is huge, I still have something to rest on, and I'm hoping I can do this. Really hoping, and I'm gonna have to start over here on this far side. And so what I'm gonna do to begin with is to grab the three favorite colors that I want to use right now. Actually, I want all, the, all of them. <laughs> Handy. And the Prussian blue, which I did something. There it is. I got it. So, I'm going to... Mm. <laughs> I'm going to try and get my act together. Right now. By giving myself three colors in each of those marks. And if I can't finish, I can't. They don't have to be the same colors. All of them. Matter of fact, changing it up works to my benefit. Adds some interest. Maybe a little bit of that dioxidine purple. Hey, I think I said it right. Wow. All my paints are pre-mixed and I just shook them. It's time to remember that I go, I'm going to go down and around and pull. And I'm going to do it again because I can. <laughs> I'm going to try. So that was one way and this is another way <laughs> it takes some focus for me to do this I think I want some more white over there honestly I do the white is what makes it should have had a, ri a rag handy for that. But at least my canvas is dry. So I'm going to put some more of that color I like in there again, which is the neon purple from Folk Art. And I'm hoping <laughs> that I can somehow rescue my my strange configuration with that white. But I guess there's always tomorrow too. So that went from left to right, and this is going to go from right to left, and then I'm going to put some more paint in the middle, and do it again from right to left, and left to right, and put some more paint right up there. Drag all that up and then down again. Because I like the textures the chain makes. I'm going to attempt to use it 
to add some texture. That's not bad. I'm not, I'm not unhappy with that. This could take a whole lot longer than I expected though. But I am learning as I go that I like the white a lot. And I had some, um, there we go. I had some metallic purple, excuse me, blue. And I like how that looks too. And I'm not cleaning my chain off, as you can see. Because I want that extra bunch of paint to affect the paint I'm dipping into. And it's coming back to me. It was a little slow at first, but it's coming back to me. And I stop short. I'm also going to let that chain relax right in that little gap. I like the blue as much as I like anything in there. Getting a little more brazen with my placement of my colors. Okay, so I'm going from left to right and right to left and left. No, right to left. <laughs> oh, I'm so dyslexic, it's not even funny. Okay, so. That's right to left. And I think I could add a little bit of dark color in there. We'll see if I can get away with it. I'm kind of, I kind of want to wipe my chain off, but I think I'll just use a clean one. Maybe some more white in there too. Pop in some nice cells. All right, so far so good. I want a whole lot more of that much hotter purple. The neon. Not sure what to mix it with. I'm not sure I need threes. When the timer goes off, I'm calling it good, but I've still got enough time for right now. something dark right there and something white right there and a whole bunch more of that purple right there can't believe I'm doing this leaning over sideways but it's working and I'm gonna leave that purple right in there am I yes oh boy I keep thinking it would be nice to use a pipette, 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 to uh, just get in there and suck some of that paint up.
I know I said I wouldn't move it and then I did, but oh well, never mind. I'm hoping that because I'm using white close to this neon that it will be okay as far as allowing me to keep it. And my colors are, the paint is nice and thick because I use GAC 800 by Golden which is a pouring medium in all of my mixtures and it means that I can leave paint heavy and not have to worry about it. There's only five. Maybe I should have only five. Ha! I got five minutes left. I can have more flowers if I want them. Just picking colors that go together for me. Yes, I see. I just dripped. Hopefully you can see that. I'm not sure you can. Alright, let me have a look at this. I'm not unhappy with that at all. I kind of think I might be done, actually. I might have a few things to touch up, but um, those five flowers are good enough for me right now. If I change my mind, I can always come back again. But I think I want to use a little container to put some, a couple few greens in. I've got a neon. I've got a Kelly green, I've got a forest green, I've got a metallic green, and I've got a yellow green, and then I'm going to throw a bunch of that other green right back in there again. Grab a skewer with a nice paintball on the end of it. Start over here where it's a, less likely for me to drip across the whole canvas. I'm not even trying to touch the whole flower. And you got to remember, you can use a bamboo skewer to pull out a few edges if you should desire to. I don't see why not. They're very ruffled, whatever they are. And even, in, even add a couple of spirals. That's just perfect over there. And she did it anyway. I'm so close to being done, at least for today, that I'd like to, I'd like to what? I'd like to just squeeze things on here. Yeah, that's not bothering me, and I think I'm going to be in time. Yeah, I'm liking that a lot. I'm going to let this, let this little stem go right over some little schmutzes. Just using the ball, making one of those little whatever they are that, that encourages the flower, the, the leafy part of the 
stem to uh, Yeah, I think that's going right over the top. That's the perfect place for it. I think it's going to happen over here too. Just looking for any little spots that I can cover with my mark. I can go back and finish that later. <laughs> I'm going to keep going with what I'm doing right now. I get distracted sometimes. All right, so I got two minutes left to tell you guys to shop my Amazon link at no added cost to you. It helps me out, and you can find my book called Because I Can there, and you can find the Princeton Artil Catalyst Spatulas, the small ones I usually use that you can't see in this video, but they're worth checking out. And you can also find the OXO Omelette Turning Spatula, best paint spreading spatula around, guaranteed bar none, by me. I've never had anybody be anything but ecstatic with their purchase. It's the it's a really stellar tool. So that gives me two minutes to tell you guys also, if you share my video, it helps me out. If you watch my videos longer, it helps me out. If you've been to watch my videos, of course it helps me out. Uh, I love you guys. There's almost 85,000 of you. I hope I get there. Some things are weird at YouTube, but oh well, never mind. At least it's a platform I can share with you guys on. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for all the support and all the wonderful comments you give me all the time. Really appreciate it. Because it gets a little depressing being up in the air all the time. Like, all the time. <laughs> but uh, you guys make it worthwhile for me. So thank you for being here. Thank you for all the contributions that have kept me painting. all this time. I love you. If you're looking for the monthly drawing, it's on the end screens and it will show you what the prizes are in an exhibition video also. So I don't mind a few other little shapes in there which is working well for me. We're gonna be gone in a minute or you are I'm still going to be here. I have a card around here somewhere that I buried. Of course I did. Oh, no. Yeah. That's not it. I could get myself in a lot of trouble trying to get that out of there. All right. So I have Instagram, Twitter, and uh, Pinterest boards that you might be interested in. And they're listed in links underneath the video. My paint pouring recipe is there. If you guys have questions for me, just ask. Um, if you need links, just ask. Teespring clothing under the video is mine. It's got all over print t-shirts and leggings and a lot more should you be interested in having a shop. If you visit Facebook and you want to be part of um, a group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is for fans and collectors. Expressionist Art Studio Totes and More. If you find totes and more, then you can hit the shop now button. It'll bring you to my Fine Art America pixels.com pages. And you can have some fun there, even if you don't want to shop, but there's like over 20 products there all the time. I got a few little green dots here and there that I might want to get rid of. And um, I've got some beautiful paint right there that I'm thinking I want to add to. Just a little dot by putting some paint on my skewer because I like the idea that there's a bud there. And I could probably put a few more buds someplace, but I'm not sure about that right at this exact second. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying thanks for coming. Check the uh, community board on my channel.